Hey guys, it's Justin here with another uh, work in progress video. This is going to be a uh, work in progress for the 1 to 20 scale Machining Krieger Archelon, Archelon, I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, it's a Machining Krieger kit. Uh, like I said, if you, I don't know if this is going to come out before or after the unboxing for the other kit, um, but this is uh, a really neat kit from uh, Wave. It's in 1 to 20 scale, so it's you know, a little bit smaller than your average high grade, um, but it's it's like completely in scale with anything one to twenty scale. So uh, I can pop this guy off right here if I can get it without breaking anything, and you can see the pilot inside. Uh, so that's really neat. I think one to twenty is a common scale as well, so I should be able to find like accessories and stuff I wanted to do build a diorama around him or anything like that. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, but anyway, um, I've gone ahead and done a little bit of seam work on some of the easier parts. Uh, the arms are completely seamed. I uh, just need to do a little bit of sanding on them again just to make sure everything's nice and tight. Uh, I'm going to have to paint the joints first on the legs and then I'm going to try and mask those off as carefully as I can uh, and then I'm going to seam up my legs I need to go ahead and uh, do a little bit more sanding on them anyway. The, the cleanup is a little rough on some of this. I've got a couple sink marks here on my shoulder uh, flaps. Not the tightest, but it works. Uh, my piping looks fine. Um, and we're, we're pretty much ready to go uh, as far as cleanup is concerned. There's just a little bit to do to, to make it as it should be but I'm really happy with this guy he he assembled really easily uh, didn't need a lot of glue to make things stick uh, this piece right here was the only one that needed glue to stay in straight out of the box uh, some of the smaller details surprised me I expected them to give me a little bit of trouble but they didn't and uh, it's got a really simplistic but still like nicely detailed look to it so I'm really digging the way this uh, this series works so far and I'm really looking forward to kind of getting a little dirty with this and doing some weathering and stuff like that uh, I haven't decided what weathering method I'm going to use I'm probably going to like do hand chips instead of um, trying to uh, salt weather although I think salt weather would be appropriate for this scale uh, it would let me use a nice variety of uh, salt chips instead of just having to use fine particulate salt uh, I could use like thick sea salt and stuff like that uh, but we'll see uh, I have a tendency to go a little overboard when I salt weather uh, so I'm gonna try not to do that uh, but I'm gonna try and decide on a color scheme for him uh, the box this is my favorite thing about this is it comes with this little insert here and it's got a couple different uh, paint and marking guides so there's uh, one which is like a navy and like a green kind of looking color scheme. Uh, there we go. You can see that. That's actually the box art color scheme. Um, then there's this which is pretty similar but kind of flip flopped a little bit. Uh, it's a little darker, like a like almost a dark gray and like a green. Uh, I'm thinking about this one maybe. This looks a little simpler to do for my first one. Uh, it's like a really, really, really dark gray or a black with uh, red on the face and just a couple decals. Super straightforward. And then on the back we've got, uh, this looks like a two-tone green military camo or all black, which I like, but it's really plain and I don't want it to be like super plain. So I'm thinking maybe... Uh, if I don't do like a two-tone green, maybe I'll do this one and then do like some light chipping on it just to kind of make it shine a little bit. There's some additional details on here that aren't on the actual kit. Uh, like you can see these little wires sticking out of the arm, which I need to figure out how I'm going to do. And uh, one like wire sticking out of the back of the leg, which shouldn't be too hard to work out. Uh, I'm sure I can figure something out for that not too big of a deal yeah I can I can do that no problem uh, but really nice kit like I said it, it assembled really quickly I was actually at work when I built it and uh, 
I stay pretty busy at work generally, but I was managed. I managed to just get this knocked out. Uh, I think in about an hour and a half, but you know, between dealing with with uh, customers and stuff at work, um, and taking photos and all that. So I had a ton uh, of free time one day, and I just kind of wrapped up clean up on him and stuff like that. And you know, here he stands. So uh, the next step is going to be to disassemble, do the second round of cleanup, uh, make sure all my seams are like fully sealed, uh, do some spot touching on where I think there's going to be sink marks, and then we'll be ready for round one of primer, and I guess I'll do like a light wet sanding, maybe with 1000 or 1200 grit, just to make sure everything is nice and smooth, and then we'll do round two of sanding and get into the good stuff. So, uh, I'll be back later and we can check out how this guy goes and how things work for it, I guess. I don't know. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy and uh, I'll see you in a few minutes.